Hey guys, just heading into the swamp here, right beside my yard. I grabbed the big camera and I thought, you know, it's too nice of a day, even though it's not sunny. And I've already been out making videos for you guys. I'm like, I need to grab the camera and go see what we can find in the swamp because there's a ton of birds out here. And I stepped off the lawn and there was two wood ducks right there. I don't know if you've seen wood ducks. They are the most beautiful, brightly colored males with the big hoods. And uh, I was not expecting to, to see them literally 15 feet off the edge of my lawn here. And they took off. So, ah, not a good start. Gary, the unprepared for photographer. I guess that's what I'm going to have to call myself. I was just not even... Not even close to being ready. So, let's continue. Let's just take a little walk through the swamp. I don't think there's any frogs or amphibians out yet. It's still too cold. We're still getting ice on these little bits of water here every night. We're gonna look. showed you guys this huge poplar tree snapped off last night right at the edge of my yard and came crashing down thankfully into the swamp not into my yard but uh, I'm gonna clean this up when the swamp gets a little drier we'll uh, cut all of that up for firewood to burn in my pit in the backyard but uh, I was leaving them here there's a, there's a whole stand of them that are dead and I leave them because the flickers the northern flickers nest in these poplars and Tom wanted to cut them down last year for his maple syrup I said no I like to do birding right here but but now mother nature has done the job so I will cut them up and we will end up burning them you hear that that's a peleated woodpecker Somewhere over there. Leafs win game three. I can still wear the jersey. They shouldn't have won game three. They came out lackluster and terrible. For a team that had taken a shellacking in game one, they lost 7-3, which was their usual start to a series okay not going to come out the fastest even though they've got one of the best teams on paper even though they've uh, finished in the top three you know the last four years in a row they seem to come out with this eh, it's just another playoff series we don't have to you know get ahead of anybody we've got seven games to lose it we'll, we'll, we'll start slow and we'll gain some momentum and this is the usual typical toronto attitude well they got shellacked then the game two they hammered Tampa. They came out firing, fighting, scoring, flying, everything. You name it, it was there. And they beat Tampa 7-2. Therefore, I would project that they are the better team because both teams scored the same amount of goals, but Toronto gave up one fewer in their blowout game. Well, I predicted before the start of last night's game that Toronto was going to go on to win the next three games because they were a different team. They were a team that wanted to impress their fan base and say, hey, we're not going to do this anymore where we win a high-scoring game, lose a high-scoring game, win a high-scoring game, lose a high-scoring game, make it all the way to Game 7, and then come out lackluster and lose, which is what they always seem to do. And then last night in Game 3, after having lost a game, high-scoring game, won a high-scoring game, they came out like poo-poo again. But Samsonoff... The goaltender kept them in it. He stood on his head. He made at least five, ten bell saves. Like, just ding, ding. He was cartwheeling. He was Superman flying. He was. He kept them in this game. And somehow, into the last minute of the game, they're down a goal. They pull the goalie. Samsonov can't do everything. I mean, if they could have just brought him out and scored, he would have. But they didn't. They pulled the goalie, and the Leafs score. And it goes into overtime. We go almost a full overtime period. Samsonov standing on his head again. And the Leafs eke out a win. And I'm like, they did not deserve to win that game. So here's my problem with the Leafs, guys. I don't know in game four which freaking team, Leaf team, is going to show up. Is it going to be the team that has some fire in its belly? It can outscore pretty much anybody in this league. 
Or is it going to be the lackluster ho-hum? Well, we did win the last two games. We might as well let them, you know, get back in the series, Leafs, that I freaking hate. I'm betting. No, I don't want to be pessimistic, Gary. <laughs> it's so freaking hard being a Leaf fan. All right, back to photography. I'm looking for, well, birds. But uh, I don't know, anything cool that catches my eye? Spring is a terrible time to photograph, right? I mean, everything is brown. Everything is wet, soggy, rotting, dead. Like my winter soul. You know what's irking me? It's this one patch of white right there. <laughs> I don't consider myself a vain person, but that's bugging me. I also have another mission. There has got to be a hundred orange stakes that were placed out by this guy that was trying to sell this property last year between Tom's house and my house. They go all the way up Tom's property, all the way up my property, and then they cut around to the back. And I inquired about that, and yes, I can legally remove those because the property is marked with metal uh, markers. And these stakes that they put in here are just temporary for the uh, survey that they did. Well, to me, you're that's just... I hate it. There's orange stakes sticking out everywhere in the bush. So I'm going to pull them all, and the next bonfire I have, we're burning them. These right here. There's a hundred of them. Well, I'm sick of looking at them. And they're coming down. I got nothing, guys. There's a robin up there in the lower branches. I'm going to take a picture of it because I got nothing. The super rare spring orange breasted Canadian robin. Oh, do you see what I see? That's right, we're going to remove that. Just like the last three I pulled out. Oh, wait, what's that? Oh, some ducks over, ducks over there. Hey, it's Nancy and Ronald, my mallards. They're here every year. They're running. As the season gets on, and they actually have a nest, I'll be able to get a little closer to them. Last year they got away without me seeing any of the babies, so... This year. There's nothing better than little golden ducklings, you know, waddling through the swamp. Trying to jump up onto a log, bumbling into each other. Nature at its finest. We're not there yet, but... Give it a month. All right, let's head across the road and go down to the river. I did just see the osprey fly by and head down towards the river. So maybe we can get some herons or something down there. I don't know. Let's go take a look. It's only a 15 minute walk. Oh, well, I see ducks coming in to land right there. Dang it, I forgot I had a plan to move the hunting blind down here to the river so that we could shoot the wood ducks. With my camera, of course. Um, but we went through all the trouble of moving the hunting blind way back into the swamp and, ah oh man, that means another year of me struggling to get to really nice wood duck photos.
Ah, the osprey just came and caught a fish, but it was way down there. God, oh, can never be right here in front of me. <laughs> I got a really crappy photo of him from a mile away. Ah, guess who just flew back past with another fish? The osprey, and I got him this time. He actually went right in front of me. Last time, he... He knew better. He was like, no, I can't go in front of that guy with the awesome Sony camera. I'll be dead to rights. And sure enough, I got him. What's on the menu from the look of it? I think it was pike. I think the Osprey had a little pike. Which uh, this river here, there is pike, pickerel, suckers, um, some catfish, all kinds of stuff. Perch. I'm really glad I took the time to go down to the river though. You know, as I always say, if you don't get off the couch, you're not going to get any photos. Well, I'd like to stay down here a couple more hours and just keep shooting the ducks and everything that goes winging by, but guys, I got to get home because the Florida-Boston game is coming on shortly and we have to start our ritual before the game, you know, burn some Boston jerseys or whatever we got to do to ensure that Boston loses that series. So I'll catch you guys in the next adventure.